Uh, hello everyone, so today I'm going to share with you an interesting uh, website that you could use with your learners to practice, you know, uh, vocabulary and learn more vocabulary. So the name of the site is Quizlet. It's very easy to create. And the website is also available as and in Android or iOS devices for students to use. It's very easy to create. Uh, an account uh, with Quizlet. If you don't have one, you need to sign up right over here. If you already have one, you just log into your account. So I'm gonna log in with my Google account. And once you log in, what you see is basically all the pay, you know, the interactive vocabulary games that I have created. And as you can see down here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how you can create your own uh, interactive vocabulary game. So uh, uh, on the upper left side over here, you could see the uh, it's written create. Uh, you click on it and once you click on it, you, for example, type the name of the Quizlet uh, re vocabulary review practice you want. So for example, in this case, I'm going to call it uh, school items okay and if I scroll down over here you could see that you get to enter the different school items I want so for example let's type in book and over here you could choose for example a translation for book in the L1 of the learners you teach. In this case, my students L1 is Arabic, so I'm going to choose a different language. And I'm going to click on Arabic, and I could have the option of a translation of the word in their L1. And I just type in the word in Arabic. And I could also add a picture. Now, as soon as I click on you know, the uh, to add a picture right over here, it automatically gives me images that are available in Quizlet to upload as pictures. Now, I'm fine with these pictures, so I'm just going to choose this. If you would like to add your own pictures, you just click on upload your own image and you could choose from your own computer. So let's just click on this one. And I could also add a voice recording over here. So I could you know, record a voice I would like and add it to that. And I could even add a definition, but I'm not going to add one. So then I would move on to the next school item, for example, ruler. And again, I could choose the option of having a translation. And uh, for example, in this case, I'm going to just type it down. Uh, or I could not do it and I get to choose a picture. So I'm going to just choose this one. And again, I could add a voice recording if I, if I want. So you could go on with the list. Over here, you only have five items. You could add more if you wish to have more than five uh, words. Uh, and then if I click on create right over here, then I get to, it automatically opens a, a page for me where I could share the interactive Quizlet activity I've created and I just click on copy link and I share it with whoever I want and if I look over here this is the you know Quizlet activity I've created so let me walk you through it and show you what you what happens once you've created one if you click on learn over here or on flashcards as a start you get to see that okay you have you know the flashcards and you could uh, listen to the word and you could go on to other words uh, and if I click on back then I have also learn right over here and it gives me the image of the school item I have chosen with the translation in the L1 of the learner and I get to choose which is the correct word that matches the picture. So in this case, of course, it's book. If I click on book, it automatically gives me feedback that I got a correct answer. And if I move on, let's do this one incorrectly. So the correct answer is ruler, but I'm going to click on book. It gives me again, you know, the correct answer and feedback for that. 
if I go back, uh, I get, you know, to practice the spelling and, and writing of the word. So in this case, for example, I get to type in the whole, type in the word, for example, ruler, okay? And I click on answer to check my spelling. And of course it gives me correct, uh, and then if I move on, and I, I'm going to write the word book incorrectly with just one O, and I click on answer, it gives me again feedback and it gives me the correct spelling and I could even listen oh. to it and click on uh, this icon right over here. And if I go back again, I get spelling over here and I could pl practice again the spelling of the word but it's done Ruler. by listening at this point. So I click over here. Ruler. Ruler. And I can listen to it as many times as I want and then I type in the correct spelling and again get my spelling checked. Uh, and if I move on to this I can write over here where I have test, I get to practice the school items and test myself. So it gives me something like this and I have to type I have to type in the meaning of the word book. So over here it's for example in L1 it's the meaning of it is kitab, so I'm just going to write the word kitab in Arabic. And over here I get to type in, I look at the picture and I type in the word in English. And I check for answers, it gives me that I got 100% on the test. And if I go back, one last thing is, for example, match. And it gives me the option of playing a game. So what I need to do is I need to match each picture or word with uh, the word that matches. For example, in this case, book matches this picture image over here. So if I drag it and put it over here, it would disappear. But I'm going to do it incorrectly as a starter. And it stays. So I need to drag it over here and then the word book and image of the book disappears. And if I do it again, then I, it gives me, you know, either the option of playing again or the score I got. Uh, so this is pretty much it with, you know, Quizlet uh, and how to create your own uh, Quizlet activity. And you also have the option of playing games like, for example, Gravity. And you could choose how you want it to be. St uh, stand, uh, for example, medium, standard, easy. So what happens is... Uh, you have to type in real quick the meaning of the word and uh, an answer before the ball uh, falls down. Would you like to create a Quizlet very quick? Then continue watching the video for the next part. Also the option of saving time. You don't have to build every single word you want, for example, in a new Quizlet. You could easily go right over here and click on search. And for example, I'm going to type in school items. And once I click on that, I get to see a variety of different Quizlets that were already created by other Quizlet users. So for example, if I choose one of them, uh, for example, this one, I get to see that I already have a Quizlet page with school items and I could easily just copy it by clicking on this icon right over here and once I click on copy it's automatically opened in my own Quizlet and I could change the name of the um, Quizlet activity and I could uh, also have the option of removing certain for example uh, words, I could even change a picture, I could add a definition and so on and once I'm done once I'm done, again, I click on create and then I have uh, another, you know, activity with Quizlet with school items that was already done for me, but I just adapted changes that are relevant to my own learners.